this is Jim Richter with the Mandolin Blues Look of the Day. It is November 5th, 2023. This is number 64. Um, glad to be back after a short hiatus. I focused on a work-related project and took some R&R, &R, but my intent is to have these be nearly daily for the rest of the year. The next seven are weird, interesting, cool. I have a little bit of anxiety around them. Uh, I'm part of a songwriting group, tune writing group, and the assignment for this week was to write a tune in like a cross tuning on mandolin. I decided to do open D, like truly open D, not sawmill, which would be something like A, D, A, D, but F sharp, D, A, D. And what inspired me to do this was is that, as many of you know, I also play guitar and I play bottleneck slide and I'm not the greatest at it, but when I do, I like I, I typically play an open D tuning. And so I started thinking about what open D would be like on the mandolin. And I think there'll be some really cool rhythmic things I'll be able to show you towards the end of the, the seven lessons. Uh, there'll be some slide as well. It won't be a comprehensive slide course, but I'll show you how to use bottleneck on the mandolin using this particular tuning. Uh, the scale, the D scale, it uh, looks a little different because you've got this F sharp on the bottom, the D on the top. But again, use transferable knowledge. If you know how to play the notes on this D, you'll know how to play the notes on this D. So F sharp, G at the first fret, A at the third fret, B at the fifth fret, C sharp at the seventh. That's all on the bottom string, the F sharp. Then the middle two should look familiar. Then you've got open D, E, F sharp, G, A. So that's the major scale. If we were to do the major pentatonic, you've got F sharp, A, B, D, E, F sharp, A, B, D, E, F sharp, A. So So now let's do a cool rhythm pattern uh, that really starts thinking about chords on here. Um, some of what I'm going to show you now is going to sound a little Keith Richards-like, and Keith took a lot of his playing in open G from uh, country blues guitar, and specifically country blues with Bob and next slide, because those tunes are typically played either in open D or open G. Um, so this rhythm is based around this chord here. I'm going to show you two, basically two, two note or two chord shapes that you're going to move with, with a bar um, and be able to play through a 12 bar, 12 bar blues. So you've got this open D. If I take and play the first fret of the first or of the fourth string, that's a G note, and play the second fret of the second string, is a B note. I've now got a G chord. So it would be one, open, two, open. That's your G. You might even hear a little bit of dueling banjos in there. So you could play it, you could play it straight or you could play it in this type of rhythm. You know, play a little bit more of a rhythm, more heavy rhythm emphasis, uh, do some muting and the like, but you could do. You know, and then you're kind of like going to church. I'm a banjoist, and one of the reasons why I love open tunings is that on banjo, if I move everything I play in open position, move it up to the fifth fret, which would be the four chord for uh, the key. Um, I can repeat all my patterns. So if I take this, 
I can actually do a bar at the fifth fret, do the very same thing, and now I've got, in the key of D, this would be a G chord, and that would be a C chord. It would be six, five, seven, five. But I keep my bar the whole time, and I'm barring down that one, two, just like I did down here. One, two, one, two. It's up here at six, seven. So you would end up with something that sounds like. Now you can probably guess, what would you do next? If fifth fret is your four chord, then seventh fret is your five chord. This would be an A chord. And when I do my pattern, I'm actually doing a high D. I'm doing eight, seven, nine, seven, but I'm keeping that seven barred. And I'm just repeating the, the, the same pattern that I used earlier. What I did there, that kind of walk down, um, will be something that I'll show you in a later one. So the full 12 bars would sound like. So that's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow, and thanks for your time. Oh, consider becoming a member. The tablature plus chord uh, diagrams are available at patreon.com forward slash Jim Richter. Consider becoming a member. Uh, also learn more about me at jimrichter.com. Additionally, uh, open enrollment is, um, uh, our enrollment is now open for the Richter Mandolin Camp. So if you go to richtermandolincamp.com and you want to go to a blues and rock-based mandolin camp, that is happening July of 2024. It'll be our 11th year. Uh, instructors will be Don Julin, Mike Compton, Lorland Dossett, and myself. Thanks so much.